Hey friends, haven't been on social media much the last three weeks because I have been very, very busy rebuilding my deck and with Springs work in North Dakota on the prairie, Springs work means all of the planting, all of the yard work. You have to do everything all at one time because our growing season is so short. And while I have been doing all of that work, I've had a lot of time to think. And I wanted to share something that for me as a person who used to be a chronic dieter, who used to be obsessed with depriving myself, that a shift in the last five, six, seven years towards fueling my body's activity level has been a revelation for me. So as I'm doing this project, I rebuilt my deck. I tore down an old deck, tore down my deck, rebuilt the deck with materials that didn't necessarily fit. <laughs> so there is a lot of workarounds, a lot of what I call overlandering to get this project to work. It was extremely physical. And up until this year, I've never had a fitness tracker because I don't like EMFs and lots of other reasons. Um, however, I did decide to invest in an Apple Watch last fall. Hey, Lorraine, because um, I found out that I have a genetic SNP called MTHFR, and that means that like I've always suspected, my body has a lot of challenges um, just to function. And so I wanted something that would give me an extra edge in terms of biohacking and knowing what is actually going on in my body. So in busy seasons, years before this year, I was guessing a lot about how much energy I was expending. I knew on busy days when I was working a lot, I was probably burning more calories. You guys, I had no idea no idea how many calories I was burning. So I have been shocked to learn that while I have been working on these projects and even while I have been doing yard work, you guys, I have been burning over 3000 calories a day easily, even accounting for um, if the watch isn't calculating everything perfectly and maybe those numbers are slightly inflated. I have been way way underestimating my activity level. And for those of us that have been stuck in a diet mentality or think that we have to starve ourselves in order to maintain our weight or lose our weight, I think it's very easy to get caught up in the idea of, oh, I'm just gonna keep not eating very much and I'll just have a huge calorie deficit and then I'll be losing a bunch of weight. Here's the problem. And this is especially true for women, not that this doesn't apply to men. Men, you need to feel your muscles and you need to feel your activity level as well. But women's bodies are designed to hang on to excess weight because we are here to make babies. We're not just here to make babies. I'd be the last person to ever say that. But one of the, the things that our bodies can do is to um, bring a new life into the world. And so that also means that our bodies have different sort of protective mechanisms in place if our body ever thinks that we are in some kind of a starvation situation. So what I have learned from my friend, Dr. Beth Westy, is that in women's bodies, if we have more than a calorie deficit of a thousand calories, our body actually goes into starvation mode. It thinks that we are in a famine and it will hang on to excess weight like crazy. And depending on your particular body and your particular challenges, you may actually find also along with that starvation response, your body has a massive stress response. And this has been what has been happening to me. So I'm doing all of this work. I'm not taking the time to eat like I need to. I'm not taking time to feel my body. I, I am now because I've learned a lot about this, but in years past, I would just be like, oh, this is great. I'll burn even more fat and it'll be easier to maintain my weight or I'll be able to lose more. And what actually ends up happening is that not only do I hang on to weight, but my body will put on weight and I find myself exhausted. I find myself crabby. I find myself totally stressed out. I find myself extremely irritable. I find myself not able to have the energy to do the things that I need to do. And this type of calorie deficit is not the same as doing responsible intermittent fasting, responsible calorie deficit creation in the, um, in the process of weight loss. If you're in that 500 calorie to 1000 calorie range for a deficit and you are trying to lose weight, that's one thing. But if you're depriving beyond that, you are going to have a hard time in your body. So why I wanted to share this with you guys is that 
I was, I'm burning way more calories than I thought. And I think this is true for many, many women is that we are way busier than we realize. And if you don't have a fitness tracker and you're just kind of guessing in your head or you're maybe not even paying attention, but you're finding that you're exhausted, you're finding that you're tired, you're finding that you're irritable, you're finding that you're not losing weight or you're hanging on to weight or maybe you're gaining weight and you don't know why. So many women think, oh, I need to exercise even more. I need to deprive myself even more. When depending on your situation, you might actually need to do a little math and realize your body needs a certain amount of calories, it's called the basal metabolic rate, to even exist. This is like if you were sitting like a blob and you weren't doing anything at all, your body takes a big chunk of calories every day just to do that. And then your activity level is way on top of that. So in my case, in my example that I was giving you guys, uh, well over 3,000 calories a day, if I'm not eating at least 2,000 calories a day, my body is going into starvation mode. It is gonna hang on to weight. It's going to cause a stress response. This is in the science and it's also been proven through my personal experience with my body as a woman. And I know that so many women out there, I know guys too, this applies to guys too, that think uh, less is more. I need to eat less, I need to eat less, I need to eat less. How you eat less is really important. How you're feeling your body is really important. So don't assume if you're hanging on to weight or you're gaining weight that it's just because your willpower isn't strong enough. It may actually be that you're not, you're not accurately gauging how much you're burning in a day. You're not actually fueling your activity level. So this is why things like protein pacing, which is eating protein every two and a half to three hours, has been revolutionary for me in my wellness journey because I can stay active throughout the day, go and grab some convenient healthy proteins and not have to sit down for a bunch of meal prep, but I'm still keeping my metabolic fire going. I'm keeping my activity level fueled and I'm not dipping below where I should be for calories so that I'm keeping my body in a, in a sweet spot. Um, and if you wanna learn more about that, go ahead and private message me, I can tell you more about it. But I just wanted to get out here and encourage people that if you're in a season where you're just more active right now, um, or maybe you have an active job. I was just talking to a friend that cleans houses for a living and she also just got an Apple Watch and she's like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe how many calories I'm burning when I clean a house. And I'm like, I know, I can't believe how many calories I'm burning when I'm doing my push mowing and weed eating in the yard, like it's shocking. And so you do need to adjust up in what you're taking in in order to keep your body in that sweet spot. That's all I got for today. Would love to hear from you guys, any thoughts that you have on this, what your struggles have been with this and anything that you've learned in terms of getting out of that deprivation and diet mentality, which I hate, into a mentality of truly honoring and loving your body by fueling it the way that it needs to be fueled. Have a good day.